Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wohler for the Essential Organic Acid Test Mastery Course, also called the Essential Oat Mastery Course. Title of this video is Clostridia Bacterial Toxins and the Organic Acids Test. So the Essential Oat Mastery Course is dedicated to learning about the most common markers seen on the organic acids test from Great Plains Laboratory. Uh, this is a test that I have used personally in my practice for over 20 years and have also done a tremendous amount of clinical education on the use of this test uh, in practice to various healthcare practitioners. To me, the organic acid test is a fundamental test for any functional or integrative medicine practitioner. If you are new to integrative or functional medicine, this is an important test to learn how to use. If you have some training, um, uh, or in practice now doing uh, functional medicine uh, and you're looking for a refresher on the OAT test or perhaps you've been using other companies uh, organic acid testing, uh, this course would be extremely valuable for you. One of the areas that's really important on the organic acid test from Great Plains Lab is the section on Clostridia bacterial markers. And this is an area that's often not analyzed thoroughly on other companies' oat tests. And that's, to me, a big problem because there's four markers in this particular section of the test. You'll commonly see um, things like HPHPA or 4-creosol elevated in various individuals. And if these get overlooked and they're not analyzed, you're going to miss a tremendous amount of clinical information for people with chronic fatigue, depression, anxiety, uh, autistic individuals, people dealing with mental health challenges, or even neurological disorders. So approximately 25% of organic acid tests that you'll do in practice will have at least one clostridium marker. The most common is the HPHPA. It's not very common to see all three of those positive, but it does happen, and it's you know, very significant when it does. And again, many other OAT tests on the market just don't analyze this section very thoroughly, in my experience. There can be many different clostridia that inhabit the digestive system in humans. In fact, up, upwards of 100 species are known to exist in the GI tract, but not all are pathogenic, but some are extremely problematic. We know that these Clostridia bacteria are anaerobic. They don't like oxygen, and so they produce these spores, and these spores are very resilient, and this, this is what gets outside the body and then can infect somebody else. And the properties of spores make it very difficult to eradicate, either from antibiotics or even certain botanicals have a difficult time killing off the spores. Now, Clostridium difficile is the most common, most well-known type of Clostridia. And we know that Clostridium difficile infections, at least the strains that produce different toxins within the gut, have led to many deaths. Um, or in some people, it can lead to just what's called chronic or Clostridia difficile induced diarrhea. And then in some extreme cases can lead to what's called pseudomembranous colitis. And pseudomembranous colitis is where this pseudomembrane forms around a lesion site, an inflammatory site that's been damaged by the presence of these bacteria. But there are other toxins that get produced by other types of clostridia. There are other strains of clostridia difficile that may not necessarily be producing toxins that affect the gut, but these toxins affect the brain and nervous system. So the organic acid test picks up on things like 4-creosol and HPHPA. And these particular toxins can inhibit an enzyme called dopamine beta-hydroxylase. And dopamine beta-hydroxylase is what converts dopamine to norepinephrine. It can also cause increased levels of dopamine that is measurable on the oat by looking at the HVA marker, what's called homovanillic acid. So the dopamine beta-hydroxylase gets inhibited by these clostridia toxins. 
And if we have a rise in homo vanillic acid, which we're having in this particular case, this person's um, dopamine beta hydroxylase is being inhibited, causing HVA to elevate. Sometimes what you'll also see is things like quinolinic acid. Quinolinic is actually a neurotoxin. It's an excitatory chemical in the brain, often triggered in the presence of chronic infection. And so we can get imbalances in neurochemistry because of these clostridia. And too much dopamine within the brain or nervous system produces a chemical called dopaminoquinone. And dopaminoquinone essentially is a toxin that the body tries to neutralize with glutathione. But over time, our glutathione stores can become depleted, which leaves us vulnerable to neurodegenerative conditions and oxidative stress. And again, if you don't have this information, if, if, if you're doing an oat test from another company that's not analyzing for all of these clostridia, you're gonna miss a lot of information of how it correlates to the clinical presentation of your patient. We know that these toxins from clostridia bacteria can lead to mitochondrial dysfunction. And there are other things that the organic acid test picks up on, like candida, for example. It picks up on the presence of certain molds, looks at oxalate markers that all as well can lead to mitochondrial damage. What you'll find in some cases with other oat tests is they may only list a marker like this one called DHPPA. And that often gets confused because it's assumed that it's a marker of clostridia, but in actuality, it's most commonly linked to beneficial bacteria in the digestive system. And then, you know, again, some of these other markers may not be analyzed depending on the specific O test. But we know that with the Great Plains test, we're getting accurate information here that we can act upon clinically and then correlate, of course, back again to our patient's problem. Again, whether it's a mental health challenge, autism, neurological issue, etc. Now, I'm Dr. Kurt Wohler. I've been an integrative and functional medicine physician for over 20 years and have used the organic acids test in my practice uh, from Great Plains Lab over that same amount of time. And to me, it's a game changer in clinical practice. It was for me many, many years ago, and I use it uh, almost entirely with almost everybody I see as a central focus test that allows me to get very comprehensive information on a wide variety of problems. I'm the co-founder of Integrative Medicine Academy, which is an online training academy with different mastery courses in functional medicine concepts. I work, I'm also a practicing clinician, work a lot with the autism community, people with autoimmune disorders, neurological issues. I speak throughout the United States as well as internationally, have written a number of books, uh, and have been involved in clinical education now for many years. One of the things about all of our mastery courses through Integrated Medicine Academy, including this Essential Oat Mastery course, is that it's really important to always apply the lab to the clinical presentation of your patient. This is not a course with just cookie cutter protocols based on numbers on a test. You're going to be um, you're going to be pushed to think critically and think clinically. That is really important, I believe, in any aspect of healthcare, is learning how to think critically and learning how to think clinically in what the test means to the person you're working with. We will talk about treatments. We'll talk about different scenarios and different case studies and different lab examples. But you're going to come away from this essential oat mastery course being introduced to the most common oat markers that you're gonna see many times over on a wide variety of people. And you're also gonna learn how to connect different categories on the oat and how, what those relate to each other. The Essential Oat Mastery course is also a precursor to my advanced oat mastery course, which goes into the oat information to a very in-depth level biochemically. 
Also, the organic acid test as a profile provides various markers that are suggestive of, you know, things that might be linked to environmental chemicals or mold toxins or things like glyphosate. So it allows us to discuss some of these other tests that Great Plains has, and there's other labs out there as well. So for more information about the Essential Oat Mastery course, you can go to EssentialOatMasteryCourse.com. You can also email us if you have any questions at EssentialOatMasteryCourse at gmail.com. Off the website for the Essential Oat Mastery course, you have access to this complimentary special report, Learning to Interpret the Organic Acids Test. So again, make sure to reach out to us if you have any questions. I'm Dr. Kurt Wohler for the Essential Oat Mastery course. Thank you.